What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? Kuda Malo here coming at you with another exciting video talking about what I'm doing before, during, and after my 72 hour water fast. So if you saw the videos or video previous to this one, you'll see what came out of me after doing a salt water flush after 72 hours of being on the water fast. This video, I'm going to talk about what I was taking during the fast. Okay, so Monday, 12 noon was my last and only meal before I started the water fast. And that was a shake made with this. Amazing grass, greens blend, superfood, chocolate flavor. This comes in different flavors. I think there's like a lemon lime flavor, which was okay. I didn't really like the taste too much. Chocolate, to my opinion, was way better. The plain is also pretty good too if you mix it in with other stuff. But anyways, I made a shake out of this 12 noon on Monday. That's when I started my water fast. What I did was I took one magnesium pill and one potassium pill each day while on the fast to keep the electrolytes up, right? So one magnesium is 500 milligrams and one potassium is just a touch over 500 milligrams. So 500 milligrams of magnesium, 500 milligrams of potassium. I take one pill each day that I'm on the water fast. In addition to that, I'm drinking a ton of water. We're talking like a gallon, gallon and a half of water a day. And what I do is I just drink a 12 ounce glass of water whenever I feel like I need it. Usually about every hour or so, maybe something like that, right? Like for 12 hours, 16 hours, something. And what I do is in that filtered water that I drink, by the way, I will put a link to the filter that I'm currently using down there below in the description. It's a great water filter. Love it. Filters water like whoosh, like pretty fast. I got to do a whole nother video just on that. But what I do is in every 12 ounce, give or take glass of water that I drink, I put in a little pinch of Himalayan pink salt. When I say little pinch, I'm talking like just, just that much. So it's not even like an eighth of a teaspoon, if that's what you want to think of it as or whatever. But little pinch of Himalayan pink salt in there to kind of keep the hydration and the muscles and the organs right in the brain and the eyeballs and everything else. So think of this as electricity and think of this as plumbing, right? The electrolytes, the magnesium, potassium are helping to keep the electrical signals flowing in my body, right? Moving around while I'm doing the water fast. And then the salt with the water is helping to hydrate or the plumbing, right? Helping to hydrate the organs, the brain, the heart, everything to keep everything moving smooth during the water fast, right? Okay, so Thursday, which was today, around like 11 o'clock-ish or so is when I did my salt water flush. I did two teaspoons of Himalayan pink salt mixed in with a huge glass of water, 22 ounces of water, and a whole bunch of sludge came out of me. I'm going to try to go one more day, right, to make this a 96-hour water fast. And then tomorrow morning, I'll post up another video and let you all know what happened. Okay, so I'm still going to take the magnesium, still going to take the potassium, and I'm still going to do the pinch of salt with the filtered water even tomorrow, to the rest of today through tomorrow, right? So we're all going to do that. Okay, tomorrow morning when I wake up, I'm going to have some kind of a bowel movement, I, I guarantee you. It's probably going to be some kind of a liquidy something or other. If I get more solids to come out of me, even better. More sludge that's in my intestines. Let's see what happens. I'll let you all know tomorrow morning. But what I'm going to do is somewhere in the morning time, I'm going to try to do the the bone broth soup thing. So nothing but broth. There's no vegetable. I mean, no vegetable chunks in there or anything. It's just, it's just straight broth, like filtered. You know, you could put it into a uh, strainer or whatever. Bone broth soup is what I'm going to have for at least two meals. And if I don't make it myself, I've done videos on, on here on the channel before of how to make bone broth soup. If I don't feel like doing it because this is a holiday weekend, Easter weekend is this weekend, what I might end up doing is I might just I might just end up buying some bone broth from like a pho place, which is sometimes the best way to get it because it's fresh and it's right there. Plus it's flavored really nice. Oh, loving it. Okay, so two meals, I'm going to try to do bone broth only. See what happens. I'm probably going to have another bowel movement. It's probably going to be liquidy is my guess. And then the third meal that I have that day, which will probably be tomorrow, I'm going to start introducing... A probiotic, which in my case, I love red cabbage sauerkraut. I make this myself. I've done videos on this before. Go into, go into my playlist. You'll see the videos on how I make this. But there is vitamin C in here. There's probiotics in here. It's basically sauerkraut made from red cabbage. And it's delicious. It's sour. It's tangy. It's good. 
I love the stuff. My my relatives go nuts. They want me to make it for them. I've heard that a few times. And it's just, it is what it is. But I love it. So then what I'm going to try to do is the next day, right? So tomorrow is Thursday. Is that right? No, tomorrow's Friday. Wow, tomorrow's Friday. Okay. So tomorrow's going to be two meals of bone broth and then one meal with bone broth and the probiotics. Or maybe just the probiotics on their own. I'll have to figure that out. I'll let you know in a future video. So then what I'm going to do is on Saturday, I'm going to start doing protein, right? Maybe a little piece of chicken, maybe a little piece of fish, just a small amount of little protein with some good nature-made carbs. What's a nature-made carbs? This is sprouted lentils, right? I made this in advance knowing that I was going to be coming off of my fast my water fast. So what this is, is put some lentils into a jar, put some water in there. I've done videos on this process before as well. So check out the playlist again, and then basically sprouted these and put them in the fridge. So this is actually, believe it or not, this is actually about a week old lented sprouted lentils that's been going strong in the fridge. And the, the whole process I've done another video on you. I'll have to check that one out. So that's what I'm going to do. And then maybe like Sunday when it's Easter, I'll probably have like a normal meal, right? So if I'm if I'm breaking my fast on Friday at 12 noon, let's say, by Sunday at 12 noon, which is 48 hours later, I'm going to be having a normal meal, which usually in my case will probably consist of a little bit of meat right? Some good carbs, like a sweet potato, baked potato, some rice, brown rice, that kind of a vibe. And then like a huge healthy salad, greens, some green beans, maybe you might throw in there a cucumber or something like that. Anyways, you get the idea. But with that being said, I will put links to this stuff down in the description there, down there below. So make sure to check that out. There will be a video on how to make this and a video on how to make this down in my playlist. So make sure to check out the playlist section. I'm Kuda Malloy. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, wherever that is, and I will catch you all on the next exciting video.